melancholy, exploratory, balladeering, romantic uh, stuff, it has since become popularised and huge. And um, and lots of people rightly point to Coldplay for breaking it and making it an international sound, mm. you know. And their version of it um, isn't as intricate as Elbows. Theirs is very much about pop and pop markets and... But they were very, very good to us. They took us on tour and they talked us up. Uh, and they're still pals to this day. But yeah, we were part of a certain kind of songwriting, which was about blokes talking about their feelings. It just hadn't happened like that before. Not really. But like, did did you get, pro did you have problems with being so expressive and being from Manchester well, at yeah. that time? Do you know, I mean, like, yeah, we, we were sort of, we were. Um, if you imagine where uh, where music was coming from in terms of like everything that uh, Creation Records was doing, which was about rock and roll and about arrogance mm -hmm. and about everything that rightly should be part of rock and roll, mm -hmm. we were arguably this soft option. And I remember uh, Alan Creation Records. McGee. Yeah. Alan McGee. Yeah. Um, he was quoted in the enemy uh, of insulting Coldplay and Keen. It was the the famous bedwetters thing. Oh yeah, when he coined that yeah. phrase, uh, and we were lumped in as part of this insult that Alan McGee had said. And he phoned my manager the following day, and he said, "I love Elbow, and I did not count Elbow in amongst that." And the journalist has added them. You know, so the journalist has like a he, he an had, axe to grind. Yeah, yeah, and I, I mean. I don't want to get myself in trouble now, but I was talking to a journalist from another country that we're about to visit uh, the other day. Um, and the first guy I spoke to knew our back catalogue and we had a really, really in-depth and interesting conversation mm -hmm. about how music's changed in the time we've been making it. And then the next journalist said, critics of your band may say that it's all a bit soft soapy, it's all a bit crybaby, it's all a bit... And if it's not doing that, then it's great big anthems about love, which don't really have any depth. And I was like, sounds like you know these critics quite well. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what I mean? It sounds like you are one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I said, you know, I said, I, I don't apologise for what we do because I know it's coming from an honest place. Whether or not you like it is totally up to you, but I know we accomplished what we meant to do. And also, if you look at the back catalogue in depth, rather than just the big anthems we're known for, mm -hmm. There's really, there's songs of hate and there's songs of darkness and despair and there's something for everybody in there, you know. But this guy had made his mind up that we were one day like this and nothing else. 